quality CNC simulation software has one job, to assure you that your program will run safely the first time. It does this by checking for collisions with machine components, cutting tools, or stock. As we're about to see, collision checking is only one part of machine simulation's very important job. Here we see the space station docking ring component located on its second operation fixture. If we quickly toggle visibility of level 2, we can see the faces with the remaining stock shown in pink. The finishing operations have already been created, so let's begin the process of ensuring that they are safe to run, beginning with Verify. Open your simulator settings. Ensure level 601 is active as a fixture and that a solid slash mesh is active for the stock. Next, launch Verify. Before clicking play, let's activate stop conditions for collisions and operation changes. This will stop the simulation at the end of each operation or any time a collision is found. Now run Verify. We can see that each operation runs cleanly. Looks like we're ready to post our code and run the machine, right? To be completely sure, Maybe we should run a machine simulation as well. Let's go back to the main Mastercam window. On the Simulation tab of the Simulator Options menu, we need to make sure that Transform into WCS is toggled on. Without this toggled, the part and fixture will enter the machine simulation using the top plane. This would be okay for the first setup of the docking ring, but since the second setup is positioned in a custom WCS, we need Mastercam Simulator to reference that instead. On the Machine tab, click Simulate. We see the stock and fixture loaded into our UMC750 in a mostly accurate position. However, there's a small gap between the fixture and machine table, making our simulation inaccurate. Thanks to the new Mastercam Simulator Smart Measure feature in Mastercam 2022, measuring this distance is quick and easy. On the Simulation tab, click the Distance drop-down and choose Feature Aligned. This will orient measurements relative to the selected feature. Simply select a point somewhere on the flat top face of the machine platter and a point on the flat bottom face of the fixture plate. We can see the vertical component of this dimension is 28.575 millimeters. We can now head back into our simulation settings, make the correction to the Z shift, and relaunch Mastercam Simulator. The Smart Measure tools can take measurements on any of the entities in the Mastercam Simulator interface. Aside from the linear distance we just measured, we can also find radii, thickness, angular dimensions, and more. We can toggle the display of any of these measurement types individually, and we can also activate the classic details display to see even more information about any selected point. These dimensions even work dynamically. As we step through the simulation, we can see the distance between the spindle nose and the machine table beginning to decrease. Once you're finished measuring, you can click the Clear All button to clear your display. Before we run this simulation for real, we should make a couple quick changes inside File Options. Activate the Collision Checks as shown. Since we ran Verify, we know that the machining process is safe, so we can deactivate the Tool to Stock and Tool to Workpiece collision checking. Also, set the Proximity Alert Distance to 2 mm. With Mastercam 2022's new Proximity Alert functionality, Mastercam will warn us any time we are within 2 mm of a collision. This feature is especially useful if you aren't sure how accurate your machine model is, or if you'd simply like to warn your machine operator that clearance windows will be small. Let's also activate stop conditions for collisions, proximity alerts, and axis over travels. 
When we click play, we see the simulation runs and then stops with the spindle nose and machine table shaded orange. This means that we have come within two millimeters of a collision. If we continue to step through, the proximity alert clears and the simulator continues until the end of the operation. This shows that the spindle nose came very close to the machine table, but never actually collided with it. Without proximity alerts, we never would have known that this was a potentially dangerous operation. Let's deactivate our stop conditions and run through the rest of the process. According to our report, we only have one issue to address before this program can make it to the machine. Currently, one operation is causing an x-axis over-travel. Double-click on the first line of the x-axis overflow to send the tool back to that position. The Move Info tab shows that this is operation number 5, and the current x-coordinate is 274.565 mm. According to the axis controller knob, the X limit of this machine is 270.5 millimeters. Let's head back to Mastercam and try to shorten up this entry move. Open the cut parameters of operation 5 and navigate to the lead in, lead out tab. Shorten the lead in and lead out extensions to 50% of the tool diameter and regenerate. Now let's relaunch the simulator. The file now runs without any overtravels. The remaining proximity alerts in the report can be used to warn the operator of spots in the program to pay special attention to. Thanks to these new features in Mastercam 2022, Mastercam Simulator is more capable than ever. Mastercam users are provided with an even greater wealth of information, keeping their spindles running, and minimizing the need for trial and error program testing.